Ortho K contact lenses only need to be put in at night, and then you can see clearly all day while being contact and glasses free. Which almost seems too good to be true, and maybe it is? These lenses are super cool, but they have some definite drawbacks. I'll break down their pros and their cons, how they could slow down your vision from getting worse, or even your kid's vision from getting worse, and how to decide if they're a good vision correction solution for you. Ortho K contact lenses, which is short for orthokeratology, are contacts that transform the shape of your corneas. Those are the very front surfaces of your eyes, and they are responsible for a lot of the bending of light that lets you form sharp images on your retinas and see the world. While normally it's not a good idea to wear your contacts at night and you put them in during the day to see clearly, Ortho-K lenses flip this whole thing around. You wear Ortho-K contacts during the night, so they sculpt the shape of your eyes as you sleep. And then you take them out in the morning and your reshaped corneas help you see better throughout the day. As you're sleeping, Ortho-K contacts push on certain parts of your cornea that need to be reshaped and this squeezes out some fluid in there and flattens those areas. But why is a flatter cornea better? 40% of people have nearsightedness or myopia, which means that instead of their eyes taking in light from far away and focusing that to a point on their retinas on the back of their eye, their eyes are too strong. They focus the light sooner than it should, so it focuses inside of the eye, and that light spreads out before it reaches your retina. And it's that spreading of that point that makes your vision get blurry. Flattening your corneas causes them to not bend light quite as much. So instead of focusing inside of your eye, it might push back that point of focus right onto your retinas where it should be so you have nice sharp focus. Ortho-K lenses are mainly used to correct for mild to moderate nearsightedness or myopia, but they can also be used to correct for farsightedness or hyperopia or astigmatism. So farsightedness is the opposite of what we just talked about. Farsightedness or hyperopia causes you to not focus the light sooner than it should, but instead not bend the light strongly enough so the light hasn't come to a point of focus yet by the time it hits your retina. So again, the light is spread out instead of in a nice point on your retina. And this is again for looking at something far away. And this is what causes your vision to become more blurry. I emphasize that this is how it works for things far away because that's how a point, like a star, gets focused onto a point on your retina. It works a little bit differently for objects up close, but this kind of layout is just the easiest way to explain these ideas with a demo. Astigmatism is weird though. It means that your eye is curved asymmetrically in different directions. So maybe your cornea is bent more in one way than it is in the perpendicular direction. So because of that, if your eye has astigmatism, maybe in one direction, it focuses the light just fine, while in the other direction, imagine like coming out at you towards the camera, it could be pretty nearsighted or farsighted. So for astigmatism, your ortho-K lenses would have a wonky asymmetric shape. They'd be curved more in one direction than another direction. So it corrects for your funky astigmatism and reshapes your eye into more of a uniform shape that helps you see clearly. So far, Ortho-K lenses sound like a pretty magical solution for any vision issues you have, but that's not necessarily the case. Let's break down both their pros and their cons. We've covered the main pro already, that you'd be freed from wearing glasses and contacts during the day. They can also slow down your vision from getting worse over time by consistently reverting your corneas to their proper shape. More on that later. However, they can certainly have their drawbacks. It takes about one to two weeks of wearing Ortho-K lenses every night to get your eyes to fully reshape correctly to let you see your best. In the meantime, your vision will gradually get better. And if you don't keep wearing them overnight, your eye shape will slowly shift back to its original incorrect shape and your vision will go back to the blurry way it was before. Some people might actually find the process of putting in these Ortho-K lenses every night less convenient than just putting in normal contacts during the day and not worrying about that at night. If you have a really strong prescription and need a lot of vision correction, these might not work for you. I'll cover who exactly should wear these lenses and what prescriptions they work for in just a little bit. Ortho-K lenses need to be cleaned super regularly to prevent microorganisms from building up and causing eye infections or other complications. 
Regular contacts require cleaning and care too, but Ortho-K lenses just require a little extra careful handling. Both regular contacts and Ortho-K lenses can correct for your vision really well, but the effects of Ortho-K lenses might gradually wear off throughout the day. Your eyes just start slowly returning to their non-ideal shape. So your vision at the end of the day will be a bit worse than it is in the morning, and there's a chance you still might need to wear glasses or contacts at the very end of the day to see clearly. So normal contacts provide a more consistent level of vision correction. Ortho-K lenses can also be more expensive upfront than normal contacts. So who should wear Ortho-K lenses? They're clearly great for somebody who doesn't want to wear glasses or contacts throughout the day. They can be especially good if you're an athlete or do a lot of other physical activity where contacts or glasses can get in the way of you kicking butt like you're supposed to. They're also good if dry eye syndrome makes it hard for you to wear normal contacts during the day. I mentioned earlier that Ortho-K lenses are mainly used for correcting mild to moderate nearsightedness or myopia. They can typically correct for up to minus six diopters of myopia. But what the heck does a diopter mean? I'll break down your eye prescription in a little bit of detail so you can understand this. So if you look at the first number on your eye prescription, it should be under SPH or spherical, and Ortho-K lenses can correct for any prescriptions where that number is between minus one and minus six or actually zero and minus six. And people with lower levels of myopia between minus one and minus four tend to have more predictable results and faster adaptation with Ortho-K lenses. It's less common to use Ortho-K lenses to correct for farsightedness or hyperopia, but they can correct for up to positive 1.5 diopters of hyperopia. This is again described in that first number. So if you have a negative SPH value, you have nearsightedness, myopia, you're correcting for that. And if you have a positive number, you have hyperopia or farsightedness, and that's what you need lenses to correct for. And for astigmatism, you'll look at the number on your eye prescription that's under CYL or cylinder. Ortho-K lenses can typically correct for up to minus 1.75 diopters of astigmatism, so the number under that CYL area, but some specialized Ortho-K lenses designed specifically for astigmatism can correct for up to minus 2.5 diopters of astigmatism. These lenses aren't ideal for people with really strong prescriptions beyond what we just talked about. But at the very beginning of the video, I mentioned that Ortho-K lenses can slow down your kid's vision from getting worse. Studies have shown that Ortho-K lenses can slow down a kid's nearsightedness getting worse by almost up to 50%. I'll link to one of those studies from the National Library of Medicine down in the description below. So Ortho-K lenses can help prevent you from having to constantly update your kid's prescription, constantly buying them new glasses, and them just getting thicker and thicker glasses. Not every eye doctor can prescribe you Ortho-K lenses, but definitely talk to your eye doctor if you're interested in this and want to see if they make sense for you. If you have any other questions about Ortho-K lenses or any other eye-related topics, please leave a comment down below. I'll definitely respond and might make a video all about whatever it is that you asked for. Also, please subscribe if you found this interesting or useful. Thanks.